everyone. This is a quick start video to using Docker containers with the Elk stack. So specifically in this video, we'll take a look at um, how you can quickly set up Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, i.e. the Elk stack using Docker containers. Now, there are several ways that uh, we could have approached this. Um, however, in the video, uh, I'm going to opt for the simplest one. Uh, so we are going to basically use uh, three different um, images um, official uh, elastic images and uh, make use of those three images and wire it all together using plain manila docker. Uh, you could opt for diff alternatives like maybe use uh, docker compose or even uh, find other images uh, maybe on docker hub um, that has a single image that already has ELK elk installed. Uh, again, uh, keeping things simple for most people to follow in this video, given that it's a step-by-step -step guide on how you can set up Elk using Docker containers. Uh, so we're going to go through this in three steps. So the first step, um, again, uh, given that it's all using Docker uh, setup, um, so first we'll kick off um, Elasticsearch itself, uh, make sure that the container is running and uh, quick verification that Elasticsearch, uh, the service is running. We'll then set up uh, Kibana, that's the visualization tool, and uh, connect that to Elastic. And then finally, uh, the bulk of the video most likely is uh, where we're going to be spending on setting up Logstash. Now, Logstash, uh, again, it depends uh, on your specific use cases. So chances are the first two steps um, would be identical uh, for you in your specific projects. But uh, again, Elast the Logstash component is where you'll have to plug in your project or your requirement specific set of instructions. So anyway, that's the high level agenda uh, for this step-by-step uh, -step guide. Uh, so the very first step is uh, to uh, kickstart uh, with um, running Elastic. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be running through this fairly quickly. Um, if, uh, if it's going too fast, you might want to pause the video or go back to the video to follow along uh, for the instructions. All right, so let me copy the command over. Um, so just to give you an idea of what's um, going on under the hood here, so uh, again using um, uh, Docker to uh, run a container, what we're doing is we're going to port forward um, two of these ports to the local host, that's 9200 and 9300. And um, we're giving a, um, setting a host name internally for networking and uh, setting a name uh, for us to quickly reference it. Um, so let's run that off. Okay, so that's all good. Um, so keep in mind that um, prior to this video, I had already downloaded the image for Elasticsearch and hence you can see that the command executed uh, fairly quickly. Yeah, in your case, if you did not already have uh, the image downloaded earlier, this uh, would obviously take some more time uh, to first download uh, the image and then finally run the container using that image. Uh, so again, that's, uh, that's run fairly quickly. And uh, one of the ways that we can verify that Elastic's um, running properly is uh, just uh, hit this, uh, uh, the default port. Um, let's use curl for that. So curl p local host and that's uh, 9200 again local host since we have a uh, port forwarded uh, so sure enough uh, we get a response and uh, we know that um, elasticsearch is working all fine so that's a good sign so we can proceed on to the next step uh, so as you may recall the next step is to set up kibana um, so Kibana, the only dependency is to have Elasticsearch already running and we need to point the Kibana um, container to the Elasticsearch container. Uh, so for us to do that, um, and let me copy over the command. So that's here. Let me just get rid of that. And let's just paste that there. So again, um, here what we're doing is um, uh, similar to the previous command, so um, the only difference really is that we are port forwarding the the default port for Kibana, that's the visualization tool, and that's 5601. And uh, setting it a name, and um, uh, the most interesting bit here is uh, this section here, where as you can see, uh, we are uh, linking, oops, um, sorry, I got rid of that. 
Yeah. So here what we are doing is we are linking it uh, to the Elasticsearch uh, container. So let's trigger that. And again, since I've downloaded Kibana image in advance, it happens uh, fairly quickly. All right, so that's um, that's got Kibana running. Uh, so let's verify um, that Kibana is all good. So localhost and hit uh, Kibana's default port. Again, we are all using localhost since we've done the port forward. Um, so as you can see that it's uh, verified that uh, Kibana is running. Um, if you are having issues, uh, it's always a good idea to check the status of uh, Kibana. Um, so here it says that Kibana is uh, running fine. If, uh, if you've not connected um, uh, Kibana to Elasticsearch, you'll find an, uh, a message here or at least uh, indicating that it could not connect to Elastic and you'll need to sort that first before proceeding on. So that's it for the second step, uh, which is uh, setting up a Kibana container. Now finally, step three, uh, as I mentioned early on, uh, this is um, very specific to your project requirement or your particular requirements. Uh, however, um, in, in this video, I'm just gonna show you two examples of um, how you can use uh, Logstash uh, to send uh, messages uh, to Elasticsearch. Um, so the way I'm going to go ahead with Logstash is uh, we are going to uh, create um, uh, a Logstash uh, configuration file. And um, uh, again, in the video, we'll use uh, two specific examples. Um, so let's uh, to give you an idea of what um, the Logstash file can look like, um, um, head over to this URL after the video and um, you'll find more details. Uh, much of the examples I've kind of uh, copy pasted snippets off of this. So if you wanted to follow along, uh, that might be a good place uh, to start. Um, so this is uh, my configuration file. Um, so um, again, you, uh, you can find um, you know suitable examples in this URL here. Um, but again, going back to the specific uh, configuration file, uh, not doing any magic. Uh, all all that I'm trying to demonstrate here in this first instance is that. Uh, Logstash is going to take uh, the standard input, that's a keyboard input, and all it's doing is uh, it's dumping that data uh, into Elasticsearch. Um, so again, you'll notice that we are referencing uh, Elasticsearch uh, container from within Logstash, and hence we have to link it together. Um, so let's uh, take a look at what that uh, command could look like. Um, so first off, I'm gonna change this to uh, video. Okay, since I've already got um, this uh, Logstash uh, configuration file already set up, uh, let me run the next command here. That's here, so let me paste. Uh, and I'll tell you what's, uh, what's um, happening um, behind the scenes for this command here. So um, again, we are running Logstash, uh, setting it a name, linking it to Elasticsearch. So again, uh, Log Kibana doesn't have to know about Logstash and vice versa, but uh, Logstash uh, needs to point to Elasticsearch uh, to store the data. Uh, uh, an interesting trick that we are using here, since we need this configuration file to be run um, within uh, Logstash, is um, uh, we, are, uh, we are using the current working directory. So in the current working directory, I've got Logstash, um, this uh, configuration file stored. And um, what we're doing is we're mounting and creating a volume and uh, whatever's in the um, uh, current working directory, we are uh, mounting it to this folder here, so config-dir. And um, then we are actually running from, uh, once a container, from within the container, we are gonna run the logstash uh, command. So that's, um, that's what's happening here. So let's uh, trigger that off. Okay, while that's, um, while that's initializing, let's go back to Kibana. And uh, to start seeing the messages, um, okay. So let's let's type in a few commands here. So so test one, test two, test 
tree all right so we have sent three messages uh, so as you may remember from the configuration file all we are doing is uh, we are taking inputs from the keyboard and dumping it uh, into elastic so as you can see that's uh, triggered off and pushed all uh, of those messages into um, elasticsearch um, so a quick way for us to verify is now if we go back to uh, Kibana, you'll notice at first there, um, we couldn't use Kibana to um, uh, map it to an index uh, because no indexes were created. But now um, if we refresh, uh, we should hopefully find that um, an index uh, was created. So as you can see, that index was created because as soon as we started typing um, some messages and um, um, logs that sends it to Elasticsearch, it creates um, an index. Um, so here you go. So there's uh, an index here. Uh, we'll just stick with the defaults. Click on OK, and uh, that should be it. So let's just set that as the default. Now, if we go to Discover, you can already see that these are the two messages uh, that we have sent, uh, or three messages actually. So that's uh, test three, uh, test two, and uh, test one. Um, just so that we don't have to keep coming and refreshing all the time, I'm going to set it to auto refresh um, every five seconds. Uh, saves me uh, from having to come to uh, this and keep hitting refresh. Uh, so now that we've got the data um, all wired up, let's uh, play with this example one more time and then we'll move on to the next configuration. So A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, not getting too creative with the, uh, the actual messages itself. Uh, just typing something really quick down here. So as you can see, it's uh, already being picked up from, uh, I mean, it's getting stored in uh, Elastic and then getting picked up um, by Kibana. So that's a quick example of uh, uh, how we could set up a config file. Uh, however, this was uh, very much like a hello world example uh, in the sense that um, all we are doing is um, taking um, stuff from the standard um, input and pushing that uh, into Elasticsearch. But um, as you can imagine, we could have uh, a much more uh, sophisticated uh, set of um, commands or um, you know workflow for, for Logstash, uh, for which let's take a look at another example. Um, so this is another example which uh, typically you might find in uh, projects that you're working on. Um, so you can uh, see from here that um, what Logstash is doing is um, Logstash is listening to um, a particular port. In this particular case, it's port 9500, and any messages uh, that get sent into this port is uh, then finally sent into Elastic. Uh, so if we were to try and run this example, so this is more um, consistent with uh, projects that you'll be working with because uh, again the first example here you'll notice that this is a highly unlikely um, uh, reflecting anything in the real world because now uh, you've got this uh, command line here waiting for messages to be sent across so anyway let me just uh, stop that and uh, let's take a look at how we can wire this up so the name of this particular file is config2 uh, so all we have to do is uh, run this command here so i'll use this tab let me paste that over so again it's uh, exactly the same as uh, the previous command except that i'm i'm just uh, giving it a different name and pointing it to uh, a different uh, config file here as you can see it's uh, it's not um, waiting on the shell for further prompts uh, now um, you have uh, logstash um, listening on port uh, 9500 um, and uh, we can send some messages to uh, this port here and see uh, if there are any messages that are then getting stored inside of Elasticsearch and then finally getting picked up uh, through Logstash. Uh, so for purpose of, of uh, illustration, uh, the simplest option might be to use something like um, Telnet to connect to this port and just send some test messages. Um, so let's um, Let's connect to Telnet, local host, and the port number was um, 9500. Um, so again, since I've uh, port forwarded it, um, I can Telnet locally. Okay, so now we've, uh, we are in Telnet here, and let's also keep uh, 
Kibana running side by side. So as you can see, there's been no messages uh, um, being sent for some time now. So let's uh, send some messages over. Um, again, I'm just sending some random te text messages. As you can see, that it's, uh, it started sending messages uh, to uh, Elastic, and uh, we can see what's going on uh, by looking at Kibana. So that uh, pretty much sums it uh, for this video. Uh, so again, we have just scratched the surface here, uh, but uh, hopefully this uh, uh, quick setup, uh, detailed step-by-step -step guide uh, can help you set up um, El the Elk stack uh, using Docker containers. Um, so again, chances are you wouldn't have to change anything about step one and two for your specific project. It's uh, just in Elasticsearch, you will want to configure log stash. Uh, that's uh, part of step three uh, for your project specific requirements. So I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Uh, do like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.